Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlan. And I'm Marisa Vedra. We get right to breaking news. An explosion so powerful that it leveled a home in the town of New Chicago, Indiana. Neighbors capturing this video that shows huge flames shooting from that home on East 29th Avenue seconds after the blast. Our Jackie Kostek is live in New Chicago with the latest on the investigation. Jackie. Yeah, Joe and Marie, it's been about five hours since that explosion. Fire crews actually just left the neighborhood. We do still see uh, NIPSCO crews here uh, doing some investigating still. Now, neighbors describe hearing two explosions, one so powerful that their homes shook, and that was from about a block away. Now take a look at video from a neighbor who lives across the street from the home. He said that those flames erupted almost immediately after that explosion. Chopper 2 capturing fire crews from three area departments working to contain those flames. Now I spoke to, spoke to two different neighbors, both of whom trying to rescue that victim, a woman after the explosion. They say the woman was trapped under kitchen appliances and screaming for help. These videos from the ground show the debris from that home that stove and other appliances in the foreground. The neighbors trying to pull the woman out, but said the fire took off quick. A young man who captured those videos of the wild flames says that the fire erupted just seconds after the explosion. Imagine a hot sunny day, but like 10 times hotter. It was like one of those types of heat. The flames, man, I walk out and I take the videos. It's burning hot. There's glass all everywhere. And it's just it's crazy how it happened. Now the neighbor says the victim was always with her dog and now that dog has been rescued by one of the firefighters who was out here today. I spoke to the victim's sister. She was too distraught to speak on camera, but she said she was so appreciative of that firefighter for being able to take in her sister's dog. Now again, crews out here, NIPSCO crews still working. Those fire crews just left the neighborhood after uh, more than five hours of being out here. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Jackie, thank you.